What's causing your anxiety? Could it be something? Could it be someone? It could be many things, right? And it's the worst feeling in the world and everybody goes through it differently. So on today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, we're gonna break down and shake down what to do and not to do when something or someone activates your anxiety. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Jason Rosell, and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal. I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? We'll get ready because the show starts now. Regardless if you're watching this or listening to this right now, I need you to realize that everybody goes through anxiety differently, right? For me personally, I did not experience full on anxiety, full blown panic attacks until my mid twenties. And it's one of the worst feelings in the world. Maybe you've never experienced it, Maybe you're watching or listening to this right now and saying, I've had it way too many times, I've experienced it way too many times, I'm currently feeling anxious. And we all feel it and go through it differently. So what do we do, right? What activates our anxiety? What causes it? Things, people, all these things. The only thing we can do is control our th- ourselves. Ourselves. We cannot control everything around us. We can't control everyone around us. So when we're feeling anxious or that feeling of, oh my God, I'm going to get a panic attack, right? And we all label it differently, right? We have to go within, right? Not start feeling our heart, not start looking at our, our hands shaking, whatever it may be that is causing you to panic. I had a great mentor many years ago that explained to me a little bit about anxiety and how it worked. And he gave me this great example. It's like, imagine if you were to cut your finger, right? And that finger starts bleeding. You have two options. Either A, because you've cut your finger before, right? Clean it up, a little hydrogen peroxide, put a little alcohol, run some water, dry it, put a Band-Aid, and know that it will get better, right? Or continuously look at this finger and watch it drip full of blood and start thinking the worst. And that's what most people go through when they go through anxiety. They start thinking of the worst circumstances, things that don't even exist because we are the creators of our own anxiety. We activate it ourselves. But if you're strong-minded, right, and you're doing things daily, working on the things that I give you each and every day, all the tools so you can become more at ease, more balanced and stress-free, you're going to be in control. Now, if you're a first-time listener, first-time watcher, what are those things? Go through past episodes, but I'll break it down super quick. Guided meditations. You want to do it in the morning and in the evening. And if you don't even know where to start, I have a bunch on the podcast YouTube show. Listen or watch them daily. Second, journaling. Write down your thoughts each morning, every evening, the good and the bad, right? You got to let it out. It's like you're being your own counselor. And number three, work out. Get your body moving. Get out of your head. You got to calm yourself because you truly do have the power. So the next time you question why is something or someone activating my anxiety, go within yourself and say, wait a minute, am I going to let these things activate? Am I gonna let my brain go fast forward into what possibly could come? Or am I gonna be present in this moment? Because right now, this moment right here, 
as you're watching and listening, this is all that matters. Nothing else matters. There, there could be something wrong with your family member. There could be something wrong with your health. But at the end of the day, you can't change that instantaneously. What you can change is your perception. You can change your mindset and control the actions that go with it, which is essentially calming yourself down, being in control. And the best way to being in control is to letting go of the control. I hope this helped you. I send you nothing but love in this 2022 year. It is a great time to be alive. Don't focus on all the negative things happening in the world. Focus on you. Be the best version of you for you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up, drop me some comments and share this with someone. Share this with someone that you feel it can help because life is beautiful and it's not meant to be stressed out. Keep it caliente. Stay inspired, get inspired. I'll see you in the next one.